Hello, everyone. Okay, we'll start off with three words. Look back, look up, look ahead. Interesting, right? What do they mean? What do they stand for? Well, before I tell you, I want you to think about one word, pain. Pain is simply defined as a physical feeling caused by disease, injury, or something that hurts the body. Emotional or mental suffering. Sadness caused by an emotional or mental problem. Last November, my grandmother passed away. She lived in the Philippines while I lived here. This meant I never really got to know her, got to bond with her. So on the day of her funeral in the Philippines, it is usually hot and humid. On that day especially, it was twice as hot, twice as humid. I couldn't wait to go back to the house, take a shower, eat, and go to sleep. But once we had reached the burial site, something inside me changed. As they were lowering her coffin to the ground, a wave of emotions hit me so hard it left me broken, breathless. Sadness, anger, realization hit me so hard it left me in a, dark, a void of darkness. Sarah Kay, a TED speaker and poet, once said, no matter how wide you want to stretch your fingers, your hands will always be too small to catch all the pain you want to heal. People take pain as a way to stop their life from happening or to continue. They are afraid that things will end up as badly as they did before if they were to try again. Let's go back and visit the memory of my grandmother. At that moment, I was afraid of death, afraid of losing my parents, afraid of having to bear the loss of another loved one. Then, I thought about my uncles, my aunts, my mom, my dad, my cousins, and then my sister. Then, I realized what kind of future will I have if I can't accept that people come and go in my life. Let's go back to the beginning. Look back, look up, look ahead. This came to me a few weeks after my grandmother passed away. I used it, but never re-acknowledged the purpose in my, in my life. My grandmother always reminded me to remember the blessings I've had, be grateful for what I have now, and to always look forward to a bright future that shines brighter than the sun. We'll start with look back. You, there is only one word you have to remember. Survived. Did you notice that I used the past tense of survive? Well, you did. You survived. You have made it this far in your life, and you also take in the small moments of pain that happened to us before that constantly build and shape us. So if you made it this far, why can't you continue? We have, next, we have look up. Look up is a metaphoric term in which you use that you have frozen time. You think about what kind of situation are you in? Do you think this happened for a reason? Yes, things do happen for a reason, but maybe not quite the reason that you think. I like to think that life throws us obstacles to see if we take it in, learn from it, grow stronger. But in some cases, do we let it strike us down, make us weaker? This is the moment in which you take a breath, take a building block of pain, and begin a journey towards building a castle full of comfort, joy, and strength. Lastly, we have look ahead. Look ahead is where you've unfrozen time and you think about your future. Have you been, ever been asked the question, what do you, do, what do you want to do when you grow up? Do you, did, you gave them an answer, right? But you'd be lying. Why? Because if you couldn't get past one moment of pain, one moment of vulnerability, you will never be prepared for what the future will ruthlessly throw at you. You're not, you might not have the ability to heal yourself, but you have the ability to change. The change of how you see pain, how you take pain and how you use it. So remember this. Look back, look up, look ahead. Thank you.